right, let's get this math party started. Hello everyone and welcome to Math 140A. A as in analysis. My name is Payam and I'll be your instructor this quarter. First of all, notice the pi in my name and that's because I like math, pi, and I like food, pi. It's as if it's meant to be. All right, let me tell you a little bit about myself. So I grew up in Austria, but then I moved to the US and I went to Berkeley, both for undergrad and grad school. Go Bears! And now I'm a third year visiting assistant professor at UCI. And yes, unfortunately, it's my last quarter here. I know, very sad, but I will let you know where I'll end up in a couple of days. So I just have to finalize things. And by the way, I know people like to call me Professor Tabrizian, but please don't call me Professor Tabrizian. I'm not that old. Call me Payam or Dr. Payam, like my awesome YouTube channel, which hit 43,000 subscribers last week. Woo! Um, all right, enough about me. I know I could talk for hours about myself, but let's talk a little bit about logistics. And by the way, all the info is on the syllabus, which is very long, but I like big syllabi and I cannot lie. So first of all, this course very strange. So first time we're actually doing this course entirely online, but luckily I do have my YouTube channel, so not a problem at all. And basically the way this course is designed, I'll just make YouTube videos on stuff I would have covered in lecture. And we have two choices. You can either binge watch all the videos the day before the exam, which I do not recommend, but I'm sure a lot of people will do, or you can just pace yourselves and watch you know, two or three videos every other day or something. And not only that, there's also separate discussion section, which is optional. And I think the TA will let you know how it's gonna be run. And not only that, there's also virtual office hours. And those are very cool. So on Tuesday, 4 to 5 p.m., I will send you a Zoom link, which, will, which you click on it, and then you will be virtually teleported to Casa de Payam, so my home, and I'd be happy to answer your questions. And then Wednesday, 6 to 7 p.m., I'll also send you a link, but this time is via YouTube, where it's more streamlined, because I expect more people will show up. So with Zoom, it would be a little bit of a mess. And the textbook, well, here's our beautiful textbook, Elementary Analysis by Ross. Feel free to use either the first or the second edition. It doesn't matter. I don't think analysis changed so much in 30 years and the problems are exactly the same, but I do have to warn you that textbook is a little bit too easy, especially compared to analysis classes at other schools. So if you just read that textbook, you might be at the slight disadvantage. And that's why I also highly recommend you to read other textbooks such, that, such as this one, Principles of Mathematical Analysis by Rudin, uh, which is very classical, but also super dry. So a little bit hard to read. And instead, I do recommend the following one, Real Mathematical Analysis by Puke, which is a lot of fun to read. Hard, but fun. So definitely take a look at that if you can. All right, now let's move on to the part you've all been waiting for, grading. And let me show you this cool thing. So I bought this whiteboard on Amazon and whoa, it actually flips. How cool is that? All right, well, technical difficulties, but yes, it works. So grading, unfortunately, due to the online version of this class, I have to chaperone you quite a bit. So there will be lots of components to your work. So first of all, homework, 20%. It's, there will be a lot of homework, I have to warn you, but it's also worth a lot of your grade. It's basically the same amount as a midterm. And 
I do have some good news because I love to ruin your spring break, but homework one is due this Thursday. Woo! And the way homework submission is gonna work, so you'll do your work on your own piece of paper, and then you scan your homework with a scanning app, like the Notes app on the iPhone, or I think it's called Cam Scanner. It's another app you can use. And you scan them and then you just merge them as one PDF and upload them under the assignment tab on Canvas. And that's how the homework is gonna work and it'll be every week. And again, just remember homework is essential to your success. So definitely do it seriously. And then there's quizzes, 10%, also every week. And it'll be, I believe, 8.40 a.m. to 9 a.m., unfortunately. So just quickly wake up, take the quizzes, and go back to bed. And submission is also very similar to the homework, almost exactly the same. And then there are midterms. I hate writing midterms, so it really pains me to tell you that we have two of them this quarter. Again, 20% midterm one on Friday, April 24th, during usual class time, so 11 to 11.50 a.m. And then 20% midterm two on Monday, May 18th, also 11 to 11.50. And the good news is at the end, I usually give killer finals that are worth 50% of your grade. Well, I might still give you a killer final, but it's only worth 30% of your grade. And it's on Tuesday, June 9th, 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. But I do have some good news. If you do better on the final than on the midterm, your final can replace one of your lowest midterm scores. So that's very good. Um, so it could potentially count for 50% of your grade. And of course, once you add up everything, you get a raw score out of 100, and that score is very likely to be curved, again, because it's a hard class, and I will follow the standard math department curve, which is 20% A's, 25% B's, 30% C's, 15% D's, and 10% F's. And I just want to emphasize, everyone is supposed to follow that the math department curve. So there's no such thing as an easier professor. Sure, a professor might seem easy, you know, homework and exam wise, but then in the end you might be screwed because of that curve. That said, I mean, I do realize this is an awkward online course and, you know, there are a lot of things going on. So I really try to be as generous as I can. And finally, I would just like to say, and I already said this, this is a difficult course and I will make you tort suffer a lot. And just know, it's not because I like to torture people, but it's because this course has to be hard. Otherwise, there's no point in analysis. Think of it as follows. If you go to the gym and your muscles don't feel anything, did you really get a workout? Well, probably not. And your analysis brains really have to work in this course because a lot of other courses really rely on analysis. So again, just know all your hard work is not in vain. And also know I'm always here for you. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or set up a virtual office hour appointment or something. Again, I am here to help and please take advantage of that because I'm alone at home and this is driving me crazy. So I definitely need some math to math interaction or something. Um, finally, let me ask you this. Are you ready to start the course? I can't hear you. Well, I really can't because it's online, but yes, yes, let's get this party.